channel is literally growing so fast i'm just super super excited for the journey i'm so happy to have y'all along with me on this channel thank y'all for all the love and support because y'all are going crazy over these makeup tutorials okay so i decided to do this video um one of my subscribers gave me this idea so shout out to you i'm gonna be telling y'all five ways on how you can build your clientele as a makeup artist i'm here to tell y'all like how to grow your clientele this is my fourth city i know a little thing or two when it comes to starting over and just pretty much rebuilding your clientele okay so five ways you can grow your clientele as a makeup artist number one doing people's makeup for free which means having models and i know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that because of course you want to get paid of course you want your coin and i understand that if you are starting off and i'm talking about you don't really have no portfolio you don't have nothing to show for it you're gonna have to start off by doing people's makeup for free that's how you're going to not only build your clientele but you're getting practice in i started makeup back in 2014 and when i started doing makeup i was doing i was practicing on my mama i was practicing on my sister my cousins i was just practicing at that time because i just wanted to get the practice in to perfect my craft when you have passion for something you're not stressing about the money okay because you know the coins gonna come you're just worrying about perfecting your craft so like I said, when I first started makeup out, I was doing it for free, y'all. Like I was practicing, 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 practicing. You know, I just wanted to practice and use that as a way to build my portfolio to have something to show for it. So don't be so money hungry in the beginning. Your only focus should be focusing on perfecting your craft and to build your portfolio, y'all. Number two, which is like my favorite, favorite part, of course, like we in 2023, so everybody should be doing this cross promoting on social media platforms i'm not just talking about one platform like you're gonna have to put in work on at least multiple platforms i have clients who come from instagram i have clients who said they found me from facebook i have clients who said they found me from tiktok you want to cross promote on platforms and don't be afraid to pay for ads those ads do work i don't do the ads anymore i used to when i was really really trying to build my clientele back in the day but don't be afraid to invest into your brand and your business cross promoting on social media apps is so important because you have different people on different apps everybody don't use instagram a lot of people don't even know how to find people on Instagram. Some, some people know how to find people by hashtags and all of that. But you'll be surprised that some people do not know how to use Instagram and, and they, don't, they don't know how to find nobody. A lot of people don't really be on Facebook like that. You see what I'm, you see what I'm going with this? I know it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work trying to manage so many different platforms. Trust me, I have like five platforms that i cross promote my work on but i have a passion for like social media and stuff like that so i don't mind it i use pinterest i use tiktok i use facebook i use youtube now you just want to use as many platforms as you can because you never know which platform is going to be the one to also take you off use hashtags y'all hashtags are your best friend you never know if this platform might be the platform that's gonna really get your clientele from here to here. Number three is social media should not be the only thing you should be relying on. So number three, get you some business cards and promote in person. Uh, even if you don't wanna pass out business cards, now I've seen it to where people are like air dropping their business cards to whoever phone they see. And then I also see people like leaving their business cards in certain areas in the stores now i don't know if you're supposed to do that don't quote me on that one i, I ain't never tried that method the word of mouth is so important because you will be surprised at who's not on social media go to different businesses and see like will they allow you to leave your business cards in their facility i work at a salon that has different suites so 
you know, we're able to leave our business cards at the front table. And I kid y'all not, my business cards are gone. I don't know who been taking them, but they're, they're gone. But you want to also do things in public as well because you can't always rely on social media. Number four, which is like... Fake. Also, one of my top favorites that has worked for me perfectly is collaboration. Collaboration. Find some people that's in your area who do, I don't know, hair, nails, or something like collab with these people who are already in the beauty industry offer them like a free service or ask them like hey can i use you as a model or you know do you want to collaborate because okay so for me how i used to collaborate with different people is we will come together we will find a model like i will i will probably connect with a hairstylist or i've even had people connect with me y'all and you know we will come together and be like well, we should collaborate we'll find us a model you get your makeup done this person does your hair and now we 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 both collaborating you know promoting each other's work you promoting my my makeup i'm promoting your hair and the client is also promoting both of us so it's a win-win don't be afraid to reach out to people one thing that i will say is people who are very passionate about their brand their businesses and what they do they are always down to collaborate they are always down to find ways on how they can push themselves out there and push their work out there like people who are just so anti when it comes to stuff like that i just feel like do you really have a passion for what you do i feel like people who are so passionate about what they do whether it's nails hair lashes makeup whatever it is they be so down to want to collaborate they don't mind getting extra content and working a little extra harder just to put themselves out there we have these ideas that we want to do and sometimes our clients don't want to book these ideas when i was coming up with doing makeup i've always wanted to really do the dramatic eyeshadow looks like cut crease glitter all of that so i didn't really have a lot of clients that was booking those type of looks so guess what the fuck i did i asked for models like hey can i press on your face you know what I'm saying? Because I want to try this look out. You should always be down to try different things out when it comes to your brand and still do things that's going to take your brand to the next level. We need each other. When you're collaborating with people and you're working as a team, like it's a win-win for everybody. Like we're all benefiting from each other. And let's all get this money. Let's get this exposure. Last but not least, number five is to attend events attend beauty events or just any type of networking event you know how you go to those events and they have like different vendors you can either go and attend those and pass out your information or you can just be a vendor i never really have i ever been to any any event before invest in yourself like one of the biggest things that you're going to learn getting into this this beauty industry is you're going to have to invest in yourself whether you like it or not like and this goes back to what i was saying like you can tell who has a passion for what they do because they gonna do it all no matter what it takes it's all gonna pay off in the long run so yeah attend these events take your business cards and pass them out you are a walking brand like for instance like if you are a hairstylist your hair should be slaying like that should be a great way for you to walk around with your hair done oh who did your hair oh me make sure you on top of your shit too so when you going out promoting yourself they can see that like okay her makeup is flawless let me take her car it's the fyi but yes those are five ways on how you can build and grow your clientele girlies whether you are just starting out or whether you already been in the game and you're just trying to find more ways on how you can get your clientele up that those are my five tips for me what has helped me the most was social media okay and like i said i'm very into social media like i love it like i love i bitch, i went to school for social like i went that was my degree like mass communications dealing with the media so I, I love everything about you know what i'm saying like people people be thinking i'm crazy because i be managing so many platforms y'all and even crazier for starting another channel and i'm i already have a personal channel go subscribe to that channel but i do have a personal channel and then i started this channel so that's just more stuff on my plate but like i said i have a passion for this stuff so it does not bother me and i'm always down to grow and expand and you know what i'm saying to like 
really get to the top when it comes to my brand and my businesses. So that's just my advice for you girlies. So I really hope that this video was helpful. Comment down below what other videos y'all want me to do. Yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so much and I will see y'all in my next video.